I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you, Libra, for the week of January the 23rd. Now, I do have my 2017 written report up. There's the website on jenniferangel.com. It's on the horoscope pages. So go along and have a, a look at that. I will have the videos up next week. I'm so sorry they're running so late, but uh, it's a, been a little bit difficult to maintain all the complimentary material. But as promised, it is happening. Okay, so thanks so much for your patience and support on that. Now, this week we do have a square between Venus, your ruling planet, and Saturn. Now Saturn sits in your third house of communication and Venus is in your area of productivity. So um, things can change on a day-to-day -day basis here. So you're a cardinal sign, so you like to have a routine. You like to know what you're doing. So there could be some sort of upset that's going on there or something from the past can come up. And uh, it also is a message to pay attention to your health and well-being. Um, and uh, and listen to what's going on with your body. Get back on your uh, well-being regime, and and don't let that sort of slip to the by. Especially as last week we did have a square between Mars and uh, Saturn in the same area, hence my Saturn background. Uh, so that sort of could have triggered things off. So you want to like now you have a chance with the Venus being your ruling planet to bring things back into line. But if you didn't deal with it last week, then we've still got it coming up this week for you to do so. But we have a new moon at the end of this week and that always indicates a new beginning. And certainly it's a new beginning in the area of um, connections with people. So, um, you know, step out of your comfort zone because I say that because Libra doesn't like to, you, you know, you sort of like to go around or over or if it's a tricky situation. Of course, if you're cornered, it's a different matter. Um, but, you know, remember, particularly with the Mars energy, which is still in play, there's two sides for Mars. One is assertive and the other one is aggressive. Okay, there's two sides to everything, but that's the one for Mars. So, of course, for you to stay balanced and in harmony with yourself, Libra, you want to always look at being assertive because, uh, you know, you deserve to say um, what you think and how you feel. And if you can do that in an assertive way, then you can get that point across. You can clear the air. The new moon comes in and you can move forward with a fresh start, okay? And now we do have, if this is a round family area as well, we do have uh, Mercury communication planet and Pluto in your around your home and family area in a conjunction at the same degree in, in this area of your chart. So that's going to spark up a discussion. That's right at the end of the week. However, it'll be felt the energy will sort of build through this week and taper off through the following week. Um, so that really gives you a, a chance and a prompting to get down like deep into your heart and say exactly your heartfelt feelings, okay? So there's a little bit of a helping hand, a little bit of a push, let's, let's say. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Here's my site again. Do have a look at your 2017 report, see what's coming up. And this is a great time to book a personal reading as well. It's my new site. I have all the readings detailed on the readings page. And uh, you can go along and have a look at that. And as I said, it's a terrific time to book a private reading to see what's coming up for you in your personal chart for 2017. Okay. All right. Love and luck to you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.